episode um, five we're here five. well it's nice to know that people uh, have been watching these so thanks for watching people yeah thank you thank you it's it's uh it's been a great like it's been a nice positive reception it's been really fun talking to your to your fans and uh just you got some cool you got some cool fans man the right bunch chill. of video game music nerds and then uh, we have uh, your community as well. Like, hey, I, or they'll be like, hey, I don't know if you knew each other or something. I'm like, if only they knew, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So um, on to your song. Your song number one. Speaking of vibe. Vibe. It's been stuck in my head all day, man. Good Lord. Uh, you were, you were um, humming it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was humming this it. Is, and this, I, is, this is eight minutes long. Yeah, Jeez. I was thinking about it. I was like, do I, you know, but I'm going to tell you right now, one, it's not going to feel like eight minutes. <laughs> All right, and that's all. I actually, all you. so right. I was thinking, like, is this is this like a piece of classic? Is this an opera? Is this uh, no? I'll say that. No. Is, is this prog rock? Is this uh, all right? Let's hop into it. Yes. Um, you want to do the countdown this time? Sure. Three, two, one, go. Hopefully, you don't know it. So fun, no. Okay, good, because you would have known him by now. <laughs> yes, we got him. We got him, boys. The, the instrumentation, the synth is kind of familiar, but I'm not familiar with the melody. <clears throat> It is a vibe, though. <laughs> Understatement. Oh. <laughs> this is pretty sick. <laughs> Proper response. <laughs> I'm definitely getting some prog prog rock vibes. <laughs> A little. Like prog electronic, but yeah, mm -hmm. progressive. Mm -hmm. Accurate. Ooh. That's unexpected. I'm gonna turn this up even more. <laughs> I understand. I haven't heard this in a minute, so I've just been fiending. Absolutely love the percussion in the song. All the elements just... Mm -hmm, you hear it, everything. Mm -hmm. trying to think what kind of game this could be for like it's definitely not jets in radio yes it's definitely not jets in radio <laughs> is it a famous game mm -hmm. ish pretty famous indie famous is that like a point and click adventure? Oh. No, it's not. That guitar really cuts through. Give you a hint, it's a it's a sequel. Three words. 
PC game? Everything. Pretty sure it was console first, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Any setting? <laughs> Love. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I... I I, I really can't think of a time frame or a setting. This is a great song. I can tell you the composer did every single thing you hear. Guitar, drums, everything. Wow. <laughs> It's interesting you mentioned that because it, it sort of it gave me Prince vibes for a second there. Good to know. This, da, 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 da. this sounds like a Prince song, honestly. <laughs> this is... That is quite an observation, my friend. Also, Prince recorded all of his own instruments, so fun fact. <laughs> That's why I bring that up. <laughs> So emotional. All right. Definitely progressive. No loops, just soaring. It. Wow, that did really flow by. It's it really you know that that section. Mm -hmm. I, that really sounds similar to Purple Rain. <laughs> and there's <laughs> how funny. Big outro. Yeah, this is uh, no, this, uh, this is sumptuous. Man, that really you're right, that did really fly Go by. by. Yeah. It didn't feel like it didn't feel like it didn't feel like a you know eight minutes at all. Alright, my friend. I've been uh, I've been holding I, it in this whole time because I was excited because as soon as you said it I was laughing. This song is called The Rain, formerly known as Purple. <laughs> It's it's clearly inspired by Purple Rain. <laughs> I was like, damn, he got to, it. Like, to, holy crap. To, to the level where I'd say it's it's clearly an homage to Purple Rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so Risk of Rain 2. Is it, right. Right, right. Risk of Rain 2. The, what, what's the name of the song again? The Rain formerly known as Purple. <laughs> you hit it. You hit it. I was like, damn. I didn't want to, like, give it up. I was like... <laughs> It's it's interesting that even though I'd never heard that song before, and um, I'd, I'd never heard, like 
played the game before that the 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 inspiration was clear mm. well what's funny um, is like you said it just based on what i said about playing all their own instruments and, th- right. and then you caught them like the the musical motif i'm like whoa it's it's really good <laughs> Um, well, because I mean, Prince is one of my my favorite artists, and you can tell that the the uh, composer has a lot of love for Prince. That that shines through in both uh, in both their I, I guess their compositional style, their choice of instruments, and well, the fact that the song is just clearly an homage to Straight Prince up. as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So who, who's the so who's the composer? That is Chris Christodoulou. Um, mm-hmm. He actually is a fan of my channel, which is amazing because of some of that oh, wow. talent. Yeah, he's commented a couple times and like given the backstory of some of the songs. And dude, it's just super cool. It's like our age. This song, when I first started doing this whole thing, this was like one of the biggest requests for the longest time. I had so many. And I was like, you know, whenever there's like a huge request, I always get kind of nervous. I'm like, mm, okay. Maybe it's like a final boss or something, but this was just like, it just took me out of totally off guard because I was used to orchestral and kind of boss themes and this like kind of sort of hip hop beat came in with the synths and I was like, oh, this is like the stuff that I listen to like on my own time, like this kind of lo-fi stuff. And then the guitar came in and I'm like, and I already knew the name of the song. So I was really curious. I'm like, how the hell does this relate to Purple Rain? And then I heard the little dan 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 and the ending as well with the, with yeah. the piano. The mm-hmm. dun, dun, dun. It's yeah, clearly, clearly. As, as the song goes by, the uh, the purple rain influences get stronger and stronger. But um, it's it's yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's sumptuous. Like it's it's so good. It's so well. It's well produced. Yeah, no, for it's sure. Just, it's yeah. the whole soundtrack has such a immaculate like recording quality. I've always mentioned it every time I hear Risk of Rain, like you can hear every little thing and i think that has to do with him composing it all is oh yeah he wants yeah, to yeah. make sure like everything it, has its it, moment to shine you can tell he's a real perfectionist that uh, like you can probably you can tell that probably took him a while mm-hmm. to put together and dude they're all like that too every single song is like so meticulous and just yeah. um have you ever played it though it's a it's a rogue like no, third person shooter it. right i've heard of risk of rain and risk of rain too they're very popular i was, I was considering picking it up actually i might even have it in my collection but i've never actually gotten down to playing it um so, you know there are so many games out there mm-hmm. but just listen, listening to that song is like that's, that's immediately bumped it up a, a few levels in the priority list so he has his own was, uh he has his own youtube channel and there's this whole um album commentary thing that he has so like the whole soundtrack is on there and it just has like what he did with it and talk and he talks about this song too i don't want to spoil it too much so you guys can check that out on your own time but he talks about each song and how he can he came up with it and it's a real treat for i wish more composers to stuff like that so he's a really cool down to earth dude and uh he's one of the people that hopefully we can obtain for this no i'd i'd love to talk to him i i mean you know, a talented composer like that and a fellow Prince fanatic. Yeah, no, I think we'd have a lot, a lot to talk about. I'm just glad you caught the the Prince references because I was like, maybe he's never heard Prince. Who knows? You know, a lot of people know of no, Prince, no, no. but they don't. I, I am, yeah, I am a huge, huge Prince fan. So, um, yeah, no, <laughs> that's that's, that's right up my alley. <laughs> yeah, that's right up my alley. Yeah, that's great. That's I'm, I'm so really, glad you caught it, that. It really started clicking though when you said that he's like a one man music machine because um that, that was basically prince like mm-hmm. like they're, they're, they're still unearthing music from his vault he just yeah. never stopped making music he was a prodigious talent one of the hardest um, working people who's like oh yeah like music perfectionism was his life. To, like yeah. to the max everything oh, had yeah. to be a certain way like i've heard in horror stories that he was like kind of mean and all that but i'm like oh well I mean, yeah, I've heard that too, but like, I think of it more as just like he has a very, he has a very exacting mm-hmm, vision mm-hmm. of how he wants his music and his, everything about his music to be portrayed, and he, he demands like absolute, like the same level from everyone who works with him, which that's might why be he was, unrealistic. That's why he was one of the biggest acts in the world. So yeah, rest in peace. You know, I remember there was a time in, I guess, uh, 2016, where it's just like. Prince, Bowie, and Leonard Cohen all, like, within a few months of each if other. If you noticed, the world kind of went downhill after that. <laughs> it really did. It really did. It. Like, we peaked around that time, and then we've never God, really gotten back. seven years ago. Jesus. 
time is just disappearing. But yeah, um, both games though, Risk of Rain 1 and 2, I, as far as I know, I don't think there's any other like Prince references. Um, mm. But the, the whole soundtrack from everything I've heard is such a treat. I love hearing Risk of Rain stuff. It's it's not all like this too. Like there's some stuff that's really like prog rock and dream theater like. Mm. This dude is is the real deal. <laughs> I, I def I'm definitely gonna check out more of his music. That was that was fantastic. So yeah, thank you for that. Awesome. Hey. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. That was it for this episode, episode five. We'll see you all later. But Take yeah. it easy. Peace.